Bryce Hall wants to fight me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was weirdly aggressive on Twitter, too. Yeah, but I barely mentioned him on our last podcast. Um, we barely mentioned because I said way more shit about him. Yeah, and I feel like I was kind of like coming for him, calling like bitch. And I was just like, oh, this is kind of like, it, to me, it felt lighthearted. But like, I mean, he's not, he kind of seems like he's a little like, he just has a little issues too. He's a little, he, he goes, uh, damn. But I think he wants, I think he wants the back and forth, right? With yeah. With Austin McBroom, he likes the back and forth. Yeah, and that's fine. And I'll give it to him. Out. You are? Are you going to go back and forth? With well, him? no, I didn't, I didn't respond on well, Twitter. I want to read it again. But I, I figured it would be fun to read to it. To me, it was like more like, I don't know, maybe I'm taking, I was like, it felt a little more lighthearted or not? Were you like, I don't know. No, no, yeah. Oh, well, compared to Keemstar, everybody's like a fucking fairy. <laughs> no, 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 it's like a breath of, yeah. Compared to Keemstar, it's like, oh, <laughs> you're a hey, dog. Like if I saw Bryce, I'd be like, dog, what's up? But do you know what I mean? Like there's like mentally stable and there's yes, mentally unstable. Yes, I know exactly what you mean. Mike Malek and that other guy, they're, they're, well, they're they with it. You know what I mean? But then there's some people that are just so not with well, it. Well, they say like when it comes to like, like true personality disorder, like psychopath yeah. or like narcissists, then the best thing to do is to disengage. Yeah. Because you don't want to be. I think that's what I'm like saying. Yeah. 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 I, I, I As mean, it's like Bryce Hall. I don't think he's like. I don't no, know, but, he's not. Know? He's not a like. They're like normal douche. He's like clinically dangerous dude. Yeah. There's only yeah. like three people I've disengaged with. And I would say. I know. Him. I know what you mean. Yeah. But for. Yeah. I know. We don't have to talk about him anymore. Bryce Hall is so much more like light. <laughs> we, we like Bryce Hall now. We're like, okay, he's cool. <laughs> <laughs> he's a great I mean he's a great guy compared to the I last thing we just yeah. talked about yeah I won't talk about Keemstar on the show anymore yeah I think that might be for me for my sake I know what you're saying but like maybe just I, I won't I won't bring it up anymore but if it's something that affects you I'll like bring you I'll bring that's the pro is that to me I feel like it really affect I don't know I felt felt like a conversation and I but I understand I'll leave yeah. the death to all Jews sound bites on after dark mm -hmm. Or just your own H3. Don't put Hila in it either. Maybe just do it on your own. Yeah, well, he's already gone Even after off Hila. the rails. <laughs> he goes after Hila. He goes, he calls I her mean, she, I guess she like, yeah, whatever. But. Well, anyway, speaking of the great, great dude, totally stable Bryce Hall. <laughs> uh, um, I, what did we say about him on the last podcast? We said... um, Because he called the girl a bitch and I was like, bitch Hall. Like, you remember he called that girl a bitch for bumping into him? And we're like, and what the fuck is Hall. wrong? And I was like, bitch. Yeah, he, <laughs> but but anyway, he said, yo, H3H Productions, I think you should worry about that fat, fat lawsuit Trilla oh, gave you. <laughs> Instead of talking shit about me, you old fuck. It's like, I can do both, bro. I mean, kind of aggressive, but I get it. I get it. It's, okay. it's also, I don't know what qualifies <gasps> as a fat lawsuit. <laughs> I think I'm in, I included in this next tweet. He says, I don't know why these grandpas <laughs> and grandmas... Dude, it's like, bro, seriously? I think this is where I thought it was more parody because I was like, oh, okay, like, you know. I mean, whatever. I would love to see Bryce okay. Hall in 14 years. You're not going to be on social media. He'll have no hair. That's what I predict. Yeah, he'll definitely be like... Peace and love, of course. He'll be like in the corporate offices of like Wood Ranch Fire Grill. Like he'll Wood be like, Ranch? you know, you yeah, not even a, a server. He'll be, he'll be a manager of Wood Ranch. He'll put in the time. <laughs> yeah, he'll put yeah. in the time, you know. We love a Wood Ranch though. At least oh, I gave yeah. you Wood oh, Ranch. Oh, yeah. He'll make sure the biscuits are really buttery and good. I I love, but this is. I'm hungry. Yeah, same. Bryce, you're making me hungry, but dog. These are the kind of people I like to see come and go. You know what I mean? Because their egos get so big, and it's like that doesn't last anywhere. You, Johnny Depp, if he had a big ego, you know, they get knocked out. You know what I mean? Like, you we gotta, should like, change our podcast to the bullying, two fat losers, bully, bully kids. <laughs> the two <laughs> people bullied who now bully. Yeah. We should be against bullying, but we're not because we were bullied. He said, I don't get why these grandma and grandpas always critique 17 to 21 year old kids if they weren't fucking up at our age. Sorry that these things called phones that document <laughs> shit now instead of the rocks you used to communicate. It's kind of funny. I guess. But I think I think also like, yeah. But I think he's exaggerated. I don't think I go after 17 year olds. Maybe you do. Seven. Uh, yeah, when like fucking James <laughs> I don't Charles is sexting a 17 year old. Oh, like, but we don't yeah. go after 17 year olds, though. Um. Um. Yeah. Well, you know, this is what we're this is what we do. This is what we do online. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> um. Oh, but then a guy. He likes the show. By the way, to be honest, way, so I don't know. You, you've been mentioned. Just I excited when people mention me. Yeah. When Joe Rogan mentioned me. I was like, all right, cool. Dude, you made a whole industry out of that. <laughs> yeah. You made like a hundred thousand dollars off that mention. I do get excited. Yeah, I do get excited when people mention me. I was like, okay, here we go. I uh, weigh though. Now I balance what's worth it and what's not. And I, I try to go for the mentally stable. Like even if they're dumbasses, I, I do try and go listen, for a mentally stable dumbass. There's not many people like, you know, the dude we just talked about. Mm -hmm. There's really nobody like him on the whole internet. Right. There's not. Okay. And you can have fun and argue and shit on each other. Like my relationship with the Paul brothers or Mike or even Face Blanks. I know that it's like there's a certain boundary that normal people don't cross. Yeah. Right. Right. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you brought it up. I did. Bring you it said up. something about you. About what? Okay, we don't. About <laughs> okay, so Bryce Hall. Um, one other thing about Bryce Hall that's so funny because he acts like such a tough guy. You know, he does these videos where he shows up and wants to fight people. I yeah. think he wanted to do that on our podcast too. He's like, let me roll up. He DM'd me. Oh, that's what pissed him up. off. What? Because he DM'd me on Instagram and I sh talked about him. What did you say? You didn't say anything bad about him. No, I didn't you. say anything bad about him. But I want to fight you. You want, him, you want me to fight Bryce I just Hall? I hear like his uh, verbiage. Well, anyway, he's such a bitch, it turns out. This guy actually took his hat at a party. Oh, the no. one time he actually had a chance to actually get enough physical conflict with someone and he bitched out. Look how unaggressive he is. Anyway, whatever. I don't. I, the guy's a douche who took his hat too. I so I'm not trying him. to celebrate. I don't. I was. I was going to for you to be on the show, Bryce. I, I was kind of. A, I was an advocate for it. But, but the funny part. Oh no, the video's not. The video's down. I don't know if I'm a grandma. I mean, maybe a mom or something. But a grandma. Bro, when you when we grew up, all we had was rocks. <laughs> kind of funny though. I mean, I get I guess. it. It's like yeah. uh, you're a chug. I'm a chug. We're all Chugies, chugs. Chugies. <laughs> I see you got on the chuggy bandwagon. Well, anyway, there were part three. The guy who got his hat said he had like a massive lice infection <laughs> from wearing Bryce's hat. I think hat. that was fake, right? I think so, because he just deleted it. Don't lie, shame. I, I had lice. When did you have lice? In the fourth grade. I had to come here really short. Okay, really? good. I thought you can say as an adult. <laughs> right now. I don't like, think adults get it because I've had my head on. I had lice when I was a and, kid, but yeah. like everybody at my school had lice. It was like a lice infestation. Oh. Where every all the kids had lice. It was crazy. I was the only one, and people thought I was dirty because my mom like chopped my hair off and stuff. I have a lice picture of my short hair. <laughs> you have a lice pic? Yeah. Oh, that's so f gross. Yeah, I just remember all the yeah. kids had to go to the nurse during school, oh, yeah. and they were all like doing like this, like checking for lice, and they're like, "You got lice." And I had to use like special shampoo to kill the yeah, lice. Yeah, it's like Nix or Knit or something. Why'd you have to cut your hair? Damn, girl, you were really infested. I had a lot, yeah. My mom's like, shit. They're like, you ain't playing no games with those lice. Yeah, yikes. 